Former Loose Women star Carol McGiffin slams marital prenups because they destroy any notion of trust in a relationship as she reveals pals tried to convince her to get one. Former Loose Women star Carol McGiffin has slammed marital prenups because she feels they destroy any notion of trust in a relationship. The broadcaster, 64, first met her husband Mark Cassidy back in 2008 when she was 48 and he was just 26 before tying the knot a decade later in a secret Bangkok ceremony. But Carol has now revealed that pals at the time tried to convince her to get a prenup after the pair's speedy engagement. Mark and I were engaged very quickly, and some of my friends warned me to get a prenup, she told Best Magazine. Obviously they were looking out for me, but at the time I thought, how is it any of your business when I'm old and ugly enough to make my own judgments? Carol said she doesn't agree with prenuptial agreements because she feels they undermine a marriage and suggest a lack of trust. So many of Carol's friends suggested she enter into a prenup before marrying Mark, that even her now husband was open to the idea so he could prove his commitment to her. But Carol said no, and insisted that she would dump him if she didn't trust him. Carol took to Instagram in January to mark a special occasion by sharing a cute snap as she cozied up to her toy boy husband Mark on a gondola. The pair had jetted off to Venice to celebrate his birthday and Carol was wrapped up warm in a glamorous beige fluffy coat, while Mark wore a padded jacket and check scarf in the photograph. She wrote alongside her upload, after more than 20 years coming to Venice, finally got in a gondola, but it was Mark's birthday, and he is 42 so, it was worth it. Leonardo refused to sing but it was still an amazing if the most expensive 30 minutes of entertainment ever, hashtag Venice hashtag Venezia hashtag when in Venice at Casola 21. Carol was forced to quit Loose Women in May after a bizarre radio rant saw her claiming the COVID pandemic was a World Health Organization plot to take over every government. The broadcaster, who appeared on and off the Loose Women panel since its launch in 2000, recently blasted the program as being very woke and doesn't miss it at all. Speaking about her dramatic exit, Carol told Women's Own Magazine, No, I don't miss Loose Women at all. My pronouns are P and off. It's just very woke and I can't deal with the wokeness. That's not why I am not there, I am not there because of other stuff. She added she misses her co-stars but doesn't miss being on TV. Mail Online contacted ITV for comment at the time. Carol announced in May she had left the lunchtime show, protesting ITV insisted she sign a contract with clauses that were totally unjust and unworkable. The Mail on Sunday then disclosed a free speech row was at the center of her departure, after a backlash over her tirade in an interview on TNT Talk Radio. In it, the original panelist also accused reputable mainstream news organizations of conspiring to brainwash the public, causing a mass mental health breakdown, after being bought off by the government. Carol added she thought the then-health secretary Matt Hancock tried to bring in COVID patients from France to fill empty hospital beds in Britain at the height of the pandemic. ITV chiefs saw a backlash against her diatribe on social media, while others phoned the network to demand that she be sacked. Loose Women's Carol McGiffin slams prenups after friends warned her over marrying Mark Cassidy. Carol, then 48, met Mark, 22 years younger, at a Loose Women rap party in 2008. The loved-up pair tied the knot a decade later in a secret ceremony in Bangkok, Thailand. Loose Women's Carol McGiffin has slammed prenups for undermining marriage after revealing her friends warned her about wedding husband Mark Cassidy. Carol, then 48, met Mark, 22 years younger, at a Loose Women rap party in 2008. The loved-up pair tied the knot a decade later in a secret ceremony in Bangkok, Thailand. But Carol says the couple actually got engaged quite fast, something her friends were concerned about. She claims reports at the time said they would give it five minutes. Concerned, Carol's friends urged her to get a prenuptial agreement, commonly referred to as a prenup. Speaking to Best Magazine, Carol, 64, said, Mark and I were engaged very quickly, and some of my friends warned me to get a prenup. Obviously they were looking out for me, but at the time I thought, how is it any of your business when I'm old and ugly enough to make my own judgments? So many people suggested the couple get a prenup that Mark thought it would be a good way to prove his commitment to the presenter. However, Carol said no, claiming she would have dumped him if she didn't trust him. It's that element of trust that Carol says means she generally opposes a prenup. She says she hates the whole idea of the agreements because they undermine the marriage contract. Carol believes that prenups destroy any notion of trust that existed in the relationship prior to the marriage, although she does confess there could be people out there in a relationship just for the cash. She decided to step back last year, announcing she felt as though she didn't fit in, 
she first appeared on the show from 2000 until her first departure in 2013, and then again from 2018 until 2023. Loose women's Carol McGiffin warned about husband by loved ones as she slams prenups. Loose women star Carol McGiffin says prenups, undermine, marriage and says she was old enough to make her own decisions when she remarried. Carol McGiffin has hit out at prenups for undermining marriage after she was advised to consider one before marrying her husband Mark Cassidy. Mark, who is 22 years Carol's junior, met the TV star at a Loose Women rap party in 2008. The pair tied the knot a decade later in a secret ceremony in Bangkok, Thailand. Despite a whirlwind engagement that raised eyebrows among her friends, Carol, now 64, told Best Magazine, Mark and I were engaged very quickly, and some of my friends warned me to get a prenup. She reflected on the pressure from pals, saying, Obviously they were looking out for me, but at the time I thought, how is it any of your business when I'm old and ugly enough to make my own judgments? The suggestion of a prenup became so frequent that Mark himself considered it as a gesture of his commitment, but Carol dismissed the idea, insisting she would have dumped him if she didn't trust him. Carol's stance on prenups is clear. She hates the whole idea and believes they undermine the marriage contract, reports the mirror. Carol has voiced her opinion that prenuptial agreements destroy any notion of trust in a relationship before marriage, though she admits there might be individuals who are only in it for the money. She challenges the logic behind dating someone if there's a suspicion they're after financial gain, questioning the sense in pursuing and dating them all the way to the altar. The former Loose Women star Carol, along with her partner Mark, relocated to the south of France in 2016 after falling for a property listing. During her time on the show, she would make the journey to London twice a month until she decided to leave. Last year, Carol chose to step down, expressing feelings of not fitting in anymore. She had been a regular face on Loose Women from 2000 to her initial exit in 2013, and then rejoined the panel from 2018 up until 2023.